Welcome to this week's Simon. I'm Sha. And I'm Irene of the Scientific Affairs team here at Illumina. Have you noticed how many CRISPR-Cas papers are coming out lately? Yes, it is an incredible system that is making genome engineering very simple. Not that kind of CRISPR. CRISPR stands for Clustered Regularly Interspersed Short Palindromic Repeat. It's much simpler than it sounds. Basically, you have Cas9, an enzyme that uses an RNA guide to modify the genomic DNA. What makes the system very cool is that the system is highly specific, even in mammalian DNA. Not only that, but you can do DNA deletion, insertion, replacement, modification, and labeling, and also transcription modulation and RNA targeting. You can see the possibilities when you look at some of the papers that come out in the literature. For example, in genetic studies, naturally occurring loss of function variants in SH2B3 gene result in an increased red blood cell count in vivo. Human pluripotent stem cells in vitro, inactivation of SH2B3 by CRISPR-Cas9 genome editing allowed enhan enhanced erythroid cell expansion. This is a powerful demonstration how you can use CRISPR-Cas9 to test hypotheses generated by genetic studies. It is also important to remember that they did not have to use some kind of animal model. They just could do this in human cells. That reminds me, there is another good example where the authors used CRISPR-Cas9 to confirm the phenotype produced by genes in butterflies. For example, by introducing mutants in the melanin-producing ebony gene, they could see specific changes in color markings in the larva and the butterflies. The system also depends on the availability of high-quality sequences of these butterfly genomes. Yes, CRISPR-Cas9 is actually building on the advances in sequencing technology and the combination is going to make a huge difference in our understanding of genome functions. But that's all for today. We love to hear your thoughts about our show and topics you would like us to discuss in the future. Subscribe to our channel and be sure to follow us on social media, hashtag Simon. Until next time, bye. Bye.